Hello, everyone. And uh, first, to solve this problem, we have to understand what is a phase diagram. A phase diagram is when we have two components, for example, sugar and water. This is a system. A system is when we have two components. So, we are based this problem in by temperature and by the composition okay so we when we walk on the left by the right we are increasing the uh, composition of sugar in the system when we go down to high we are increasing the temperature and this is this red line is the solubility limit which means um, that is the how many um, particles of sugar can be dissolved in the water this region here is the region when the sugar is solid and another person when uh, th there is a liquid solution but this another region is only liquid solution is when the particles of sugar is completely dissolved in the water okay the question is in the temperature in the temperature at 80 80 celsius degree how much um, sugar will dissolve it in 1000 grams of water <clears throat> okay in this temperature 80 celsius degree we write we draw a green line here and we can see uh, a composition of 74 percent of sugar okay um, so we have the mass of the total system is mass of the sugar plus mass of the water mass of the sugar we do not know but the mass of the water is 1000 grams so we have just find here that the composition of the sugar which is the fraction of sugar in the system is 74 percent so the fraction of water is 1.0 i'm sorry one less 0 0.74 which is 0 0.26 so this is the fraction of water and the fraction of water is equal to the mass of water they divided by 1000 grams that is the mass of of the of the water plus the mass of the sugar which is the total mass the fraction of water is the mass of water divided by uh, the total mass of the system so in this problem we can achieve the mass of sugar okay that is this and the letter b is if the saturated liquid solution of in part a is cooled to 20 celsius degree some of the sugar precipitates as a solid that because when we decrease the temperature we decrease also the solubility of the sugar in the water so the question is how what will be the composition of this of the saturated liquid solution at the, this new temperature of 20 celsius degree so at 20 celsius degree we can look here when we and take this line this line and counter with this red line of the solubility limit and we find this new 
a blue line which uh, we find the 64% of content of sugar so that is the fraction of sugar at temperature of 20 Celsius degree so the last question is how much of solid sugar will come out of the solution upon cooling to 20 Celsius degree all we have to know is the new mass of sugar for this new temperature so um, taken uh, uh, solving this problem we can see that this new mass of sugar will be this value this new value so the sugar loss of solid mass and in the t in this temperature this is the mass of sugar of sugar in the temperature 80 Celsius degrees less this new value of um, mass of sugar when it is at this new temperature so this is the mass of sugar in this temperature less the mass of sugar in this another temperature so the, sh the sugar will lose a total amount of solid mass of 1068.2 grams that's okay man